Positively Muskegon, Andy O'Reilly down at the end of the day of caring. Well, kind of the end of the day of caring. We've got a couple of projects that are still out to be done, but it's lunchtime at the LST 393. I've got Christine Robert and this uh, John Severson guy down here who is the, you know, the chair campaign. Campaign chair? Campaign chair. Campaign chair this year. John is with the ISD here in Muskegon. Let's talk about the day of caring today. What a turnout and what, I mean, we got a picture here. We're going to show it. Uh, great turnout of volunteers. I, I pull up, I literally can't believe the amount of United Way shirts and people that are here for this. Christine, let's start with you. Let's hmm. talk a little bit about the turnout today. How many yes. volunteers? I, I'm not 100% certain, but over 400. Wow. Over 400 volunteers. That's a lot of people. Isn't that amazing? A lot That's, of sandwiches to make. You know, it's a, we're a caring force. Yes. They United really Way is a caring force for good. In is, our is this up from last year? I believe it is up. Uh, I think I believe it is up significantly from last year, and I think part of it is is the veterans. You know, this year we're tying the program into helping our vets. Um, tying, and the part of that reason is because United Way started 99 years ago yeah. as the war chest of 1918 to help military families and vets. Yeah. And so, going into our hundredth year, we wanted to bring back that help and that support. And we've done other projects, but this year we wanted to go to veteran homes. Yeah. And really ask our community who could use our help yeah. and do some work where we can be right where people could use it. Yeah. And uh, boy, did I, I heard from the volunteers, they loved being out, meeting people, and knowing that they were right there helping people with true projects. The, the veterans' homes were a big deal, but you also went to a couple of historic sites here in town. Absolutely. Uh, Silversides was visited. We're here at the LST for everything going on, which yep. uh, is, is another thing. Talk, so talk about what went on in some of the homes. Let me let John do that because John visited more of them than I was okay. able to. Okay, perfect. I, I was I, running I, gloves and water and stuff, so John <laughs> got to go see more of them. Well, we saw a lot of activities uh, such as painting, uh, power washing, homes, taking care of weed beds. Uh, we saw one just revitalize a whole backyard, brand new fence all the way around the perimeter. No kidding. Um, and I just came in and people said they, they felt so good about what they were doing and everything was so organized, the tools and the equipment and just a very positive atmosphere. Yeah. And uh, you could see a couple of those sites, how many things were um, in, the, in those areas, in the yards. It was just incredible how much work that got done. How many people hit each, each, each house? Did you have a set number of people that went to each location? How many would you say? I, I saw about 20 to 25 oh, really? at each house. So, it, I mean, this is just like a force, and they come running in, and boom, it gets yeah. done. Yeah. 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 Well, and it was very organized. So there yeah. were a lot of the power tools and equipment were there mm -hmm. uh, to get the job done. But what I really saw was a, a, a great passion from that group to yeah. really want to have impact today. And some of the veterans that we did go to the homes, you could tell they were they were overjoyed. That was going to uh, be my next question. They were just overjoyed that we were there and, and making a difference. And I just saw that every location we went to today. And, and, and as you left, did that overjoy continue? Was it was it kind of overwhelming for them to know that the community came like that, or was it was it more of an appreciation thing? How, how was it? There was one uh, there was one lady who was out, and she was out, and she was very much excited about what was happening. Yeah, and um, she she was just you could just see a very overwhelmed in a positive way. Yeah. Uh, you could tell that like things had not been done for a while, but. She was so pleased with what was happening. I'm grateful. Uh, I'm great. I'm yeah. And we heard that neighbors walked up and were yes. interested in how can they get involved in helping again and, um, next year. And so lots of, you know, lots of, you know, a lot of our companies are sending their workforce out today. Yeah. And it's part of just instilling that, inspiring that giving back um, mentality in our workforce. Yeah. It just builds a strong community when we have people giving back at their time yeah. and, uh, and helping our community. So lots of good things. Um, projects, you asked a little bit, projects that we were developed, we can thank Health West, their Veterans Services Navigator, and our Veterans Affairs Committee for helping us identify some, some of our veterans who could use the help. Sure. Um, the other, some of the projects also, we um, have energy kits from DT Energy. Yep, we're going to talk to Rich here in a few minutes. Um, so that really got, uh, you know, really got, um, I think 6,500 kits have been put together this morning. Wow. So 6,500 homes, um, so they went out through Love Incorporated and some of our other agencies. So 
we're going to be the most energy efficient community in the state next year, I think. And, and you know, where that ties in, United Way is focused on helping those individuals who are asset limited, income constrained, and employed. Yeah. And these kits will reduce your heating costs by, your energy costs by $1,000 if you use these wow. kits. So stop into United Way, and they're, they're actually for anybody, but we really want to get them out to people in the community. and. And, and use these save kits you a few to bucks. save you yeah. some dollars. Absolutely. So we're really excited about getting those out to community. John, touch on the capital campaign. I know you're the chair of it this year. and Yeah, we're, we're doing really well. We're up about 7% from last year, but we still have a lot of work to go. Sure. Our pay setters came in really nice. Uh, we've been using a lot of the conversation about Alice and lifting people up, and education being one of those pieces as an ISD superintendent. We yep. really are very focused on on helping our community and so we feel really good about the start we feel that people are, are seeing that this is a, a very important investment back into our community and so I'm very excited to be able to chair this and uh, push it forward. Awesome stuff going on. It's the day of caring downtown Muskegon. Coming up next we're going to talk to Jason Ryan from State Farm and Rich Houdeman from Consumers Energy about their roles in the day of caring and uh, what's coming up uh, with those guys here in just a couple of seconds on Positively Muskegon. Stay tuned. Segment two here on Positively Muskegon, the day of caring in Muskegon with the United Way. It's also the big campaign kickoff for the year. A couple of the big sponsors of the day of caring are State Farm Insurance and Consumers Energy. I've got Rich Hodeman and Jason Ryan with me. Thanks, guys, for your work today and the work you guys do in the community. We're doing the cool thing today with the shades. <laughs> we all decided that before we came on, we were going to look ultra cool today, right? That's right. Summer's coming to a halt, so we got to keep the shades on while we can. All we can do is try. Jason, start with you. Let's talk about State Farm's involvement in the day of caring today. And I know you gave a great speech up here on the LST 393 a couple of minutes ago, but give us the elevator speech on why State Farm's involved. Yeah, definitely. Um, you know, we have our, our big promotion is the neighborhood of good, and, and our goal is really to connect communities together, Yeah. Uh, to get people that are in that area that have those neighborhoods that want to work together to make their area better. Um, they, a lot of people share those same visions, those same philosophies and values, and coming together to help them out. Um, is a big part of what State Farm's trying to do. The neighborhood of good is, the idea is that it's kind of a, a central place for people that need volunteer opportunities to go to yep. and find what they want to do in their community by any type of category. Yeah. So they mm -hmm. can paint houses, they can do landscaping, they can give groceries for people. So it's, it's a pretty cool opportunity to check out. Consumers energy is always at the root of a lot of these great things. And I know that, you know, this year too, you, you had the energy kits that you guys are uh, working with again this year. Rich, talk about some of the involvement that, uh, you know, is on, a little under the surface that consumers is No, you know, and we have a lot in common with State Farm and DTE is a big contributor too. Sure. Um, and, and we, you know, I think we have a motto of, you know, world-class performance hometown service. So sure. we, we want to get embedded in our communities, you know, volunteer, contribute back to the causes that are trying to help get folks further ahead, yeah. you know, get them out of those impoverished situations and maybe give them a little lift. Um, it takes a thousand things and thousands of things to make our communities better. Yeah. You know, the efforts that Jason's and Jason's company is doing and others, we just want to try to be a part of that to help uh, work together to make things better. And you guys are local guys too, so, mm -hmm. yep. I, and, and you know, what we cover here on Positively Muskegon, uh, you know, the day of caring is a big, big deal and you know, the launch of the, the capital campaign and all that kind of stuff, but we see this stuff more and more on a daily basis. I mean, we're seeing more groups get active with this kind of stuff. We're seeing more of these neighborhood cleanup things going on, and we're seeing a younger generation of people who are kind of tired of the oh, poor us attitude and oh, this we lost this, we lost that. I, th I think it's a, it's, a, it's a mindset in Muskegon, correct me if I'm wrong, but it's a mindset in Muskegon that's really kind of getting flushed, and they're saying, you know what, this town is ours, and we're going to embrace it and make it better. Am I, am I the only one seeing that, or do you guys? No, I, I think that's definitely right on and yeah I think you're you know it starts with a small group and it does. Then the next one sees what they're doing and the next one and that's how it grows and when I mean, you look at the amount of people we had here today just yeah for this event. we got some pictures and it was, uh, it was yep. a pretty good turnout you yeah, know it's a great you know it's a big event but how can we continue these things every day like you were saying that's Absolutely. what we want to keep going I think in Muskegon I think we've all realize that we we need to put our money where our mouth is no. with our time and don't, our, don't our i know that yeah i mean <laughs> if we want to get it over the hump we all have to pitch in and yeah. i think you can make an impact in a town like muskegon yeah. and feel like and feel it and yeah. uh and i think that's what 
you know what, what gets people excited to to come out. It's a matter. It's a matter of just just rolling your sleeves up and getting to it. Yeah, great stuff. Jason Ryan, State Farm Insurance, Rich Hotman with Consumers Energy. The day of caring is uh, coming, kind of coming to a close. Let's see, let's see your fingernails. Did you guys get dirty? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> dirty and off. All right, they did their part. <laughs> be a part of it next year. It's always a pleasure to be down here with the United Way. Jason and uh, Rich, thank you guys so much. Day of caring, 2017 with the United Way. It's our final segment on Positively Muskegon today. Aaron Nemistel from ADAC Automotive is here, and they have just been given the 2017 Team Spirit Award in the Day of Caring. Congratulations to everybody at ADAC Automotive. Thank you so much. It's a nice much. award that's going to go back with you guys for, quite, for the next year. Yep, hopefully years after as well. Yeah? Yep. Coming back for more. Oh, absolutely. Talk to me, Aaron, about, uh, would, would you have 30 people here today? We had 30 people here today volunteering. We had every um, we had every department at ADAC represented, yeah. from people in um, our shipping department, to molding, to assembly, to engineers. Yeah. Everybody came out today. The to whole support. shooting match. Yep. Is the place even open today? Yeah, we're open. You're open. Yeah, we're still running, <laughs> for sure. Tell me about ADAC. You know, I mean, everybody knows ADAC, but what do you guys do? Yeah, so we are a, a tier one auto supplier. Okay. We make a lot of car door handles and mirrors okay. and are into getting into electronics. Wow. Yep, so we got a lot of great jobs for people here in, in Muskegon. You're and hiring now? Absolutely. Wow, hear that? Get out, and, so right now. Absolutely. Awesome. You can head to our website, find some information there, shoot an email over, and we'll definitely take a look. Just like that. Mm -hmm. How about that? So you got great jobs going, you got great people that care. Talk about your role and why it's important for you guys to be a part of something like the United Way Day of Caring. Well, we've got we've got more than 900 associates out here in Muskegon, wow. and uh, in addition to um, another 300 plus in other parts of West Michigan, we yes. just really feel it's our responsibility to take care of communities that help us do our jobs. Sure. It's a great thing. They're over there enjoying lunch right now, and I'm sure, I imagine your sandwich is sitting there waiting it's to be waiting finished. It's waiting for me. I'm hungry. <laughs> We're working hard this morning. When 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 you put the call out to the the, the staff, mm -hmm. how's the reception to come out and do something like this? Well, we our uh, vice president and chief human resources officer sent the note out, and within 15 or 20 minutes, we had the first 10 volunteers. Everybody, and then, and then they just kept coming in and coming in. What did you guys do as a project today? Today we were helping the Cooper family with some yard work. Yep. We, we graded their yard, um, we did a lot of landscaping, we spread dirt and uh, grass seed, and our guys went out and got a fence for them. Yep. So we really we really cleaned up their place. It was beautiful to start, but I think people are going to be pretty surprised now. Darling. And at the end, when it was done, what was it like at the end? Well, you know, they're still working on it, yeah. So, but the transformation was really amazing. Yeah. And the, the, camaraderie and just feeling like a part of the community is priceless. How about the family? How did they, how were they when you guys were kind of? They were there helping out yeah. and, and kind of directing all the work, helping us understand what they wanted to see and their kids are in school right now so I think they're going to have a big surprise. When big surprise home. when they get home. Congratulations on the award. Thanks so much. Fantastic so stuff going on down here with the Day of Caring. All the details are going to be linked up. We might even throw a link up for that ADAC jobs thing. If you need a job, you might want to talk to them. Uh, it's been a fantastic day down here at the LST 393. Congratulations to ADAC. Thanks to Rich and uh, Jason from uh, State Farm and Consumers, Christine and John too from the United Way for being a part of this day of caring 2017.